Good morning, everybody. I'm Marco from the HAL team, and I'm here to share with you how we are making simpler for any developer and any company that want to interact with the blockchain and build application on that without actually understanding how the, a consensus protocol works and all those technical things that maybe not the entire world uh, we could expect they will uh, understand and use. Actually, I will uh, directly start hands-on showing you the new HAL that enables you to create uh, codeless uh, uh, automations in seconds. And then I will generalize a bit about why we're doing this. I will share you our plans for our next uh, uh, months. And then I'd like to discuss with you how we could build together work and work together if you have any suggestion. So let's start from four very uh, practical examples. One from the NFT space. So imagine, for example, that you want to, uh, to track in real time when the lower price of an NFT in a specific collection changes and you want just to, to, to set up interactive with OpenSea, what's your favorite collection, set a threshold and maybe create a, a, an automation that when that specific condition is filled, uh, it can, for example, send an email with a custom template where you can use in the email template all the variables that you fetched from the chain and from OpenSea in just one minute without coding. Uh, you, you could do that in, in one minute. Or um, you, ca you could also not just write an email, but as you can see from the screen that I'm sharing, you maybe you want to create a, a, a tweet. And as you will see, a good part of uh, uh, DeFi tw uh, tweet bots has been built with HAL. So that's an example from the NFT space. Or changing completely direction, let's discuss about DAOs. So DAOs um, have a have a problem. If you look at the stats about the participation rate to votations, that's crazy, it's only 12%. And there is a reason. People don't know that they need to vote. <laughs> and so we have, for example, done an integration with Snapshot that empowers uh, a good majority, a, a good number of DAOs to directly vote in a more efficient way to enable anybody to, uh, to be notified when a votation is coming. That's the the same kind of interface that you have seen, but completely different for, for DAOs. And what, how it works, you just select the, the space. So now about uh, 42 spaces in Snapshot, which is basically 42 DAOs, have enabled the, the HAL plugin. And in this case, I've just selected SushiSwap, and I selected that I want to be notified when the votation has ended. So not announced, not started, but ended. And in this case, I want to be, for example, notified uh, through uh, Discord, because I want to tell to my community in real time what's happening uh, on the votation. Um, same with the template system that you have seen. Or a third example from a, a, a slightly different space, which is DeFi. So we have uh, uh, the, the other governance voted and we are now integrated. And if you have an open position on, 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 on Aave, as in this case, and you want to be notified when the, the health factor is higher or lower than X, which is, by the way, a pretty important need in these months, you can, you can just click on notify from the Aave interface and you directly land uh, to another recipe uh, that enables you to, it's really profiled, so it, it knows your, your position, your, your account address, what's the current health factor, and you can, uh, you can set the threshold that you prefer. To do what? Not just what you have just seen, so Discord, Twitter, email, of course you can do that as well. But you could, you could also, um, so this is the example, uh, you could call a, a, a web book, which is the, the lower right uh, uh, button that you have seen. And uh, uh, so in this case, this is the email notification, which is the most common and popular usage. So I want to be notified before being liquidated on Aave. And uh, another thing that I can uh, build is create a bot. So as you can see, I can just directly uh, add the URI of the resources that I want to be notified. And we will send uh, with HTTP post payload all the data that you could need to build some automation on that. Fourth, uh, um, Oh, here you see an example of a bot which has uh, been created by, by HAL, but there are dozens. In this case, it's related to WBTC mining, and it has been created with the WBTC guys. Uh, fourth and last example, that's a bit more nerdy, and it shows you our custom features. So 
Till now, you have seen specific recipe and usages for specific uh, DAPs or projects, but, uh, uh, and there are many, and we also support very uh, low-level blockchain um, custom automation. So we track contracts, that means that we track the, the changes in the, sta in the state tree of a specific contract, so any specific variable change. We track events, we track transactions, and all the three that I mentioned with custom filters and parameters pretty flexible you can add on, on that as you will see in a second you can track contract periodically so you can fetch data every x second or minus to get the specific value from a contract you can track new contract deployment and and token transfer so what i'm pasting here is the address of uh, uh, usdc dai unisop v3 pair uh, this is the list of uh, uh, the one that you've just seen the list of evm compatible chain that we support we fetch the abi for you and we basically provide a, a codeless interface to add filters on, the, on this contract. So this is the list. So I click track contract. So I fetch the data. So what I see here from a technical point of view are the functions with state mutability view. So I'm reading the contract. I'm just selecting tick spacing. Uh, so for who is not familiar with Unisob B3, uh, ticks enable you to, to handle in a pretty custom way the density of the capital. And that's one of the two main uh, innovation in Uniswap v3, we uh, offer to you um, a form which is uh, created on this specific function and it enables you to, um, to add you uh, filters, so equal may, um, above or uh, below on, on any specific parameter, integers, array and so on. If it's a value that needs to be converted in fiat, uh, we, we can do that uh, getting the, the conversion rate in real time. And, and, and this enables you to create any uh, bots or notification on any custom contact. So there are recipe, but if you are technical enough to understand how a contract works and to select the right function and add the right parameters, you can do basically whatever you want. Um, actually, the list is longer. You can find that in, in our website. We have uh, built dozens uh, and dozens of use cases uh, collaborating with, uh, with DApps uh, to make life uh, uh, easier for the final user. So the most popular one are, are for sure tracking and building things on, on the rates that changes, on if there is liquidity or not, uh, like the, the bank reintegration that we have done, new pairs, and much more. The, the list is really long. I don't want to, to, <laughs> to go through that. So in a nutshell, we are a full stack, no code, cross-chain automation platform. Uh, what do all those use cases that you have just seen have in common? Well, from a technical point of view, uh, actually, we have created a common language to describe uh, all the things that you have seen. So they seems to be different use cases in the interface, but it, it's actually a JSON. So it's a common structure to uh, uh, summarize any kind of automation or notification need that you could have connecting decentralized and centralized technologies. That's the technical part. But more important for me, from the vision and business perspective, this is part, uh, so a bit like zooming out a bit, of our gluing manifesto vision. So we think that uh, in a few years, we will not discuss anymore about decentralized and centralized. They will all part, be part of, a, of the digital space. And we need uh, more and more connection between the centralized technologies that are, by the way, running the, the world right now, and the centralized one. And that's why we think that uh, glue, we need gluers. So gluers are centralized technologies like HAL that are replaceable. You can rely on many of them. And are, are, uh, they are not custodial at all. We don't handle your money in any way to connect things. And to be precise, if we look at the four use cases that we have seen, we already find other gluers. So not just the one that you see here. So Oracle, Watchtower, Gas Station Networks, they're all gluers. OpenSea we were calling centralized APIs in that example. The second as well, Snapshot, I don't know if you know, if you know how it works, but it's, it's trustless, but it's, it's centralized. So of course, the DAO voters need to put their signature, so you, can, you, you cannot fake the vote. But we were calling centralized APIs. The third and the fourth example were 100% decentralized to centralized, because in the other example, we were just calling the other contract, in the Uniswap example, the same. But that's to say that those kind of differences tend to become technical differences. We really need a, a layer that enables us to just move 
sign statements. So we we could, could say uh, we could generalize the transaction as a sign statement. I, it's it's a statement and just I signed it from centralized and decentralized uh, uh, technologies. What's next? Uh, so to be more specific, uh, what next uh, we could do? So the the automation and notification industry is, uh, in our opinion, a bit like polarizing. On one hand, we will have notification like the, what you have seen that is really useful for having lower friction for final users. So if we want uh, millions and millions of new people to join the space, we really need to make things like I want to be notified when I'm, when I'm, I'm almost uh, liquidated very easy. And that's one thing. Another thing is what developers need. So pure automation. And uh, um, we are working on more advanced uh, use cases compared to just calling a web book that are based on, uh, on, on what we have seen is happening. So we also done many interviews. And do you know, the, the real beginning of every development process of a web free developer tend to be pretty similar. So pretty often, the starting point is for a, for a, a centralized application interacting with, with a blockchain is just calling a node getting some data, filtering the data, transforming somehow the data, putting the data in a database, SQL, NoSQL, and then doing something. It, it, I mean, if you are developers, you have done that for sure. We are all done that for sure. If you want to build an arbitrage bot, that's where you start from. You get the data. It's an arbitrage bot, so you, you keep stuff in RAM because you want to go faster, but that's the same story. And we uh, will add uh, other low-code and codeless feature to make life easier for developer. Starting from streams, so the fact that you can uh, define a smart contract and add filters, as you have seen in the, in, uh, already in the current version with a notification, but being able to fetch data, also pass data, it's basically a way to transform smart contracts in APIs. Because you select uh, the filters from the UI, and then you can fetch the data instead of uh, setting up your node or calling a node provider like in Fura on Alchemy, get the data and then doing the filtering by yourself. Because the, the kind of filtering technologies that the node providers offer, uh, as you know, are very basic. You can filter by a smart contract or block, but that's it. You, you cannot add all the, the filters that you have seen. So this basically can move the filtering work that every developer does from um, from doing that manually with your app, having fetched the data directly to, to HAL. And, and again, the fact that you can do that with historical data is very meaningful as well. Because now, you, you, of course, you can access historical data with many services, but then you, you need to do your homework. It's just you, you get the raw data. So if you build an application, you need to get the data, do what you need, put that in another database, and then do what your application is supposed to do. The next step, so you, you, get, you have the data, you have a stream, so you have turned your smart contract into an API, and then you can uh, close the gap with uh, your apps. So I was mentioning that the vast majority of developers, uh, when you get the data from the chain, uh, they put that in a database. And they do, I mean, manually, they write the code, they put stuff into, uh, into the database. And we will uh, enable in, that will, arrive in September, October, and if, again, if you're uh, willing to give your opinion to help us developing this, just get in touch. We, you will see my contacts at the end of the presentation. So the flow is the input, the filters, and the, the, those are codeless or, and, uh, and or no code. The enrichment part, so transforming data, and you will be able to do that with uh, directly also coding like uh, in a serverless environment, and then pushing the data where? Here. So a, a, a no-code tool, ex exactly as the one that it's already available, that also has as an action, just put this data in a queue or in a key value database, uh, Redis, for example, or, or, or a Mongo and DynamoDB on a, on, on a SQL. And this basically save a lot of time to any organization and developer because you, you just start with the data already in the database as you were um, used to do in the Web2 space. And that's, again, getting back to the Glue Manifesto, our way to make uh, life easier also for, let's say, uh, developers that just want to, to, to have the work done and are not enthusiasts as, as we are uh, of the space. Um, finishing, man, uh, before getting your question, we are um, working a lot with, uh, when it comes to notification, with dApps and wallets. 
So wallets are becoming more and more commodity, they're pretty similar, but the fact of having descriptive notification, so descriptive not notification is something that happened and you need to be notified, it's just a description, like you have received some tokens or you have been liquidated, your wallet should tell you this. Predictive is what you may be interested in doing, like you could redeem tokens, why you shouldn't do that? So the wallet should tell you this or, or how, or we are already doing that. Programmatic, it's something that you decide to do. So I want to be notified when, when the price of something is higher or lower than X. When it comes to the other space, the developer space, uh, we are working also with, with node providers that are already the players that are uh, working with developers in providing raw data to, to, to add the, the, the features that uh, I just mentioned and we are building, so the new pipelines feature. Uh, what you have seen uh, in all the four videos, what you have seen today, it's 100% live. You can go on hal.xyz and play. If you want to suggest any more uh, recipe to help your communities grow, uh, pre-made recipe, so the one super easy to use without doing the nerdy filtering thing, you can just do that. And uh, here are some information about HAL. We are a full remote team, of course, mainly based in Europe. And well, this is my email address and my telegram. So if you're willing to, to help us building this or uh, try this, uh, please get in touch. Thank you for your time and uh, any question? Hey, thanks of all, uh, thanks for the presentation. Uh, I want to stop uh, and maybe you can specify uh, about the data streams and the events that are smart contracts producing because in the DAO we heavily rely on the subgraph. Subgraphs different like uh, and uh, if your HAL tool can provide that data in, in some sort of like queues or streams or something. Sure. Um, we realized that sometimes it doesn't matter if the data is on chain or off chain. So you can call a subgraph with a old style directly HTTP request, and that what's, that, that's what our users want, and that's why our engine already supports uh, uh, centralized endpoints, and we, we, we connect directly to a subgraph data. So the answer is yes, the engine already provides that. And a good example is we were building Twitter bots, and the, we had the need of publishing the APY in a tweet, together with the rate. So the rate uh, is on uh, of something, uh, in, of a pair, is on a blockchain, of course, it's a, a state mutability view function, but the APY is in many projects calculated off-chain, then some, of course you can, using oracles, put the data uh, on-chain, but basically it, it's off-chain. And that's a good example of, you, I just need the APY and the rate together, and, and so uh, I need to a pipeline system that is able to, to, to put together uh, centralized and decentralized data. Okay, uh, we'll take questions offline. Um, yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.